Namaste everyone. We will be drawing the Lewis dot structure of AlF3 which is aluminium trifluoride. Now the electronic configuration of aluminium is the inert configuration of neon and then on 3s2 and 3p1. So the valence shell is the third shell, the outermost shell and valence electrons are those electrons which are present in the outermost shell. The outermost shell is the third shell so 2 plus 1, 3 valence electrons. Fluorines. Electronic configuration is the inert configuration of helium and then 2s2, 2p5. The valence shell, the second shell, having 2 plus 5, 7 valence electrons. Right. Now, ALF3 is an ionic compound, so there will be no sharing of electrons. Instead, there will be transfer of electrons from aluminium to fluorine. Why from aluminium to fluorine? Because aluminium is a metal, right? And metals have high tendency to donate electrons, whereas non-metals... And specifically, we are, we are talking about fluorine. It has got a very high electronegative, the highest electronegative element on the periodic table. So, let's move on. So, for understanding purposes, I'm going to draw aluminium like this. And then, I'm going to show its valence electrons. It has got three valence electrons. Whereas, I'm going to show three fluorine atoms. Right. Now, fluorine had or has seven valence electrons. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Now what happens is this fluorine uh, asks of aluminium that, hey aluminium, why don't you give me an electron? Then aluminium asks uh, this F1, the, fluorine, the first fluorine, that why should I? He says that I've got two brothers. I've got F2 and F3 with me. And they are also going to similarly take sing, uh, single single electrons from you. So aluminium says, yeah, so what? I'll gain three positive charges by that. But this fluorine, the F1 says, see fluorine, uh, see aluminium, you're so stupid. If you lose the, those three electrons, you'll gain an inert configuration. Aluminium says, how? See, your, uh, this F fluorine one says, see aluminium, your electronic configuration was 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2 and 3p1. You're going to give me your three electrons on the valence shell. This two, uh, this these two electrons and this single electron from the three piece of shell. So aluminium says, yeah, okay. So I'm going to remove this. And now aluminium has gained three positive charge. Now if we if you see carefully, one is two, two is two, two p six. It is the electronic inert electronic configuration of neon. So aluminium three plus now actually gains his consciousness, his intelligence and now says, this is pretty cool. I'm going to have an inert configuration by just simply donating my electrons. I'm going to be stable in my life. I'm going to be happy in my life. So aluminium donates his first electron to F1, the first fluorine, its second electron to the second fluorine and its third electron to the F3, the third fluorine. Having gained single electrons, each fluorine has gained negative charge, negative charge, whereas aluminium having donated three electrons will gain three positive charges, right. Now this will not be the structure, it was just for the understanding purpose as I said earlier. Now for drawing the structure, we'll draw, we'll find out the hybridization. So aluminium had three valence electrons, ALF3. We are, going, we are finding the hybridization, right? So aluminium had three valence electrons, whereas fluorine had seven valence electrons. But since we have three atoms of fluorine, F3, right? So we are going to multiply this seven by three. So three plus 21 gives us 24. Now this value 24 is greater than eight. So we are going to divide this 24 by eight gives us sp2 means three. Yeah, it gives us three, which corresponds to sp2 which means it will be trigonal planar hybridization. So we have found the hybridization, the molecular geometry of ALF3 and we are going to arrange it in that way. So you've got AL3 plus as your central molecule and for triangle you need to place three fluorines on the uh, what do you call it? The a, a vertex? Vertexes of the triangle or the corners. So F minus, F minus and F minus. See a triangle from here to here to here. 
So this is a trigonal planar structure. And how sh shall I denote it? By drawing lines. No, I'm not going to draw lines. Why? Because it is an ionic compound and in ionic compound there is no sharing of electrons. Instead, there is just a simple electrostatic force of attraction between charges. So I'm going to draw it by dotted lines. So that you remember that AlF3 is an ionic compound and not a, a, a covalent compound. Okay, that's it. Thank you for watching. I hope you subscribe and also uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.